Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the OnePlus 5 versus the Samsung Galaxy Note FE. Now OnePlus 5 is like one of the most snappiest phones you can get right now. It has the latest Snapdragon 835 processor and it's absolutely, you know, it just flies through everything. Like this is such a powerful phone. And let's see how the Note FE goes up against it. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna be booting both phones up at the same time. So three, two, one, go. And okay, that was that weird bootloader message. But let's see, OnePlus 5, Snapdragon 835 versus Exynos 8890 from last year. And okay, Galaxy Note FE boosts up faster. So first win goes to the Note FE with the internals of the last year's Samsung flagship phone. Okay, so everything is closed up in the background as you can see. Uh, we actually have 8 gigs of RAM on the OnePlus 5 which is absolutely mental. It's more than my brother's laptop which has like 4 gigs of RAM. So uh, let's see, first off we have the phone dialer starting off with some lightweight stuff. Here we go. And as you can see OnePlus 5 just just so snappy man the speed is just insane the way they tweak the software it is no matter if you disable the animation on your phone or not one plus five remains to be quicker it's just incredible we got settings and again one plus five moving on to some third-party stuff so first off we have subway surfers okay let's see latest application installed on both phones and seems like OnePlus 5 done, followed by Note FE. So you can see Snapdragon 835, Exynos 8890. Really interesting test here. Checking out Instagram. And as you can see, the, the Galaxy Note FE was faster there if I'm not wrong with the latest feed. Checking out my profile. Uh, that also loaded up a bit quicker on the Note FE. We got Pinout. One plus five faster. Beach buggy racing. And you can see how the one plus five reacts. Like it's so quick. Got another game, Riptide GP. It's a pretty high end game. And one plus five done, followed by Note FE. Same result. We got Uber. I think that was about the same. Twitter. OnePlus 5, Snapchat, and again, OnePlus 5, just a tiny bit faster. Also, we'll be launching cameras on both phones. Here we go. And I think the OnePlus 5 was a tiny bit faster there. So, yeah, that was the app's opening test. And, of course, OnePlus 5, like I said, it is the fastest phone alive, uh, probably even faster than the iPhone 7 Plus. Like, it is so snappy with its really quick animations. And it's like OnePlus really utilized the Snapdragon 835. But let's see how they will do in the browsing test. Okay, so first website we have is wikipedia.org. Here we go. And as you can see, OnePlus 5, first one to come to the website and also finishes up just a tiny bit quicker. Scrolling looks really smooth on both phones, no difference there. Next, we got Apple.com. And as you can see, that again, yes, again, OnePlus 5, tiny bit faster. It was really close, so you guys are the judge here. Uh, but uh, not much of a difference there in browsing wise. Let's see if they are still holding on to those applications or not in the background. So phone dialer kept there. Settings. Subway surfers. And that is also there. Both phones. Instagram. Pin out. So far, so good. 4 gigs of RAM up against 8 gigs of RAM going equal. And Riptide, I mean, the Beach Buggy Racing is also there. Now we have the Riptide GP and that's also kept in the memory. Okay, Note FE bringing the fight here. Let's see. Uber and still there. Twitter, Snapchat, 
and we are back to the Google Chrome. So, so far, <laughs> it was a really perfect battle. I mean, Note FE, sometimes it does refresh one app, sometimes two, uh, two games, you know. But here you can see the performance does vary with each uh, test. And I think it has to do something with the order of uh, applications, you know, uh, which game is open first and which app. Uh, but yeah, you can see both phones were really good. Uh, the OnePlus 5 obviously is the winner. But Node FE, I mean, is still having a really good speed even with the last year's processor, Samsung's Exynos 8890. And 4 gigs of RAM seems to be doing a really good job, as good as 8 gigs of RAM here. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts on this test. And uh, if you guys have any requests, let me know that as well. And see you guys in my next one. Peace out.